we have learned enough about object, object method, properties and attributes. Now I am going to teach about object serialization. So what is object serialization? This is a process by which you convert any object to a string. Okay. So let's say this is your object. Object is the collection of different properties. Let's say this is your object. And this object is collection of different properties. These properties may be boolean. These may be string. These may be object. Another nested object. These may be array. These may be null. And so on. All the primitive types. As I said, object serialization is the process by which you convert any object to a string. You convert this object to a string. Okay. So now the question is why do we need this transformation or the stringification? This is called JavaScript object notation. This string, the format is called JSON format. Okay. Now question is why do we need JSON? I will come to that. But first let's see what is this process. This process is called a stringification. Okay. And this you can do using method json.stringify. Very beautiful method. Inside that you can pass a new object. And the reverse way. I will come to the use of the JSON. And the reverse way, the restoration of this object, this entity, using this string is called restoration or parsing. And this you can do using json.parse. And this is a string. This is object, this is a string, okay? Okay, so you may be noticing some behavior of this string conversion and restoration. So you convert any object to a string and using that string, okay, you need certain rules for this conversion and after the conversion to a string, you can restore back that object, okay, restore back to the same object, okay, this is transformation and this is restoration, okay. So this is, these two methods are very safe to use. There are some exceptions that I will come in future videos. Okay, now again come to the same question. Why do we need JSON? This conversion, this is generally used to, used in the process of data communication between two entities. For example, this is client. I'm not talking about web server or web client server. JSON is a very well known uh, communication method or the format data format that is generally used instead of XML also. This is server or it may be reverse way. So instead of passing that JSON, it's instead of passing that object, Instead of passing the, that object and getting another object or something, anything. Instead of passing this object, you can pass this string, okay? This converted string or transformed string or stringified string to the other machine. And that will also send, instead of object, some another string, okay? So what is the use of this string? After getting this string, this server can again restore that to object. <clears throat> okay, so in another format, you can say this is a compressed form of object. It can be anything it, as large, but there are certain exceptions like you cannot convert to undefined or infinity minus infinity. That all things I will come in future videos. But in general, this is the use for data interchange between two machines. JSON. Okay, now come to one example. In this example, I will make an object and after that using json.stringify i will convert that to a string 
I will come to JSON dot parts in the future videos. I will be continuing serialization in future videos tutorials also. More focus will be on the exceptions and JSON dot parts. So let's start. Define one object, JavaScript object. What is object? Object is collection of properties, or it's in simple simple terms, it's a data structure where you can store different type of data inside that object okay an object is a collection of properties with name and value pair for example num is property of this object and the value is 123123 numeric another property is string And in JavaScript, <coughs> excuse me. And after that, bull. There is no rule. I'm just writing this for your convenient. Or I would say this is the first tutorial of JSON, so I'm keeping it very basic. Okay. And after that, let's say O. O is another property for object. X is one. Y is two and let's define name some funny name i am null i am null and the value is null see here i'm not going about not a number undefined infinity minus infinity there are some certain exceptions so this is the basic thing for all these things number string boolean object let's define one array also stringify and parse works very well for these types of data one two three and i'm done this object has different property and when you can access by object.num object.str i am null okay now let's convert this object to a string using well it's a variable mm, Okay, S is JSON dot stringify and pass this object. So this object, this complete object that I made using object literal using curly braces that will be converted into a string. Okay, and that string will be stored in this variable S. Now see what is S. See here, this is a string. You can cross verify also type of s is string okay so this is a string this is not object you see here the double quotes here this is a string and using this string you can pass this string to your web server or any type of server or to any other machine and that machine if json is enabled or that machine is capable of handling json and converting that string to json it's a good way to communicate between two machines Okay, so this is the converted object to a string. Now, I will come to this parse in detail in next tutorial. But for now, let's see what happens when you call json.parse. Here you are getting the object again. Right? You can say json.parse dot I am null. That is null. Okay. And you can say string learning JavaScript. Okay, so let's focus on the stringify in this tutorial only. Okay, you know, if you have any confusion, any question, or anything, you can write any comment below this tutorial, and I will come to these things in future videos. JSON dot parse, and there are some exceptions for not a number infinity minus infinity and undefined i will come to all these types of data in future videos how to handle or how to take care while handling this type of data but for normally but for normally if you have number string or boolean another object or array you can safely use json.stringify and json.parse Thank you for watching. Bye.